Hello everyone, how's it going again? I guess it's been a couple weeks since I've made a video to share off anything. Um, there's been a few things change. Not too much, I'm still trying to change things up. So over here, there's a couple of rocks I want to remove. I want to put this one here with the Yumas where that rock is and that rock with the aptasia i want to take the coral off of it and that coral mushrooms off of that rock and remove those two rocks um yeah just to replace those two rocks with that one with the humans on it so i can look at those corals a lot better maybe a little bit more flow maybe a little bit more away from the glass so i can clean the glass um, picked me up a couple of sticks there's that one there I gotta move it it's not like in that Aptasia and all that stuff uh, there's that guy there hmm that guy up there Let's move around the side here and see if I can get a better picture. Mm. Not so much. And you can see the polyps off of it. But... They're new. They've only been here, here for maybe a week. Uh, see the sexy shrimp down there. That way, cool. All up in the front of the glass. I got some stylos. I gotta break them off and try to get rid of them. Some nastiness going on on my sand bed. It's not too bad. I'm gonna do a water change here. Suck all that out. Clean the sand. Uh, honestly, that's about the only time I really do water changes to clean out the sand bed. Look, there's those sexy shrimps. Right there in front. That's always nice. My little blue, purple acro back there is still doing good. Everything's doing really well. I mean, you can tell, see, there's some nasty stuff on the sand bed there, too. And that green cyano just doesn't want to stay away, but you know what? That's okay. Just. Take a toothbrush to it, brush it off, suck it out. You know, diligent cleaning. I lost some zoanthids right there, that empty uh, glue spot. Fell somewhere in the rock work, you know, buried or whatnot, who knows? I mean, there's some holes and stuff right down in there, right below it. I'm not gonna destroy my rock work for five dollar frag Ganiapora is looking good doing nice the Alv Alvipora or whatever he's looking good doing good too that purple green thing Hope he's doing all right. I found it face down again in the sand. Not exactly sure what was causing that. Um, everything's not doing too bad. Pulsin Zinia is going crazy back there. guy on that 
my girl Musa, Lord, Akan, Lord, Lord, or whatever it is. He's those things are looking nice. So I don't know what is that on my side of that one. Those things there. I don't get any bigger. But I'm not too sure. So much crazy stuff in this hobby. And I got that there. That's the non-moving stuff. I, and Dilia, I don't know. Got it from a local reefer. Told him I would try it. Stick it on a rock or something. Look at those. Look at this pulsing zinnias in here. That's crazy looking. It's definitely a really nice setup going. Those are right that they're growing, which is nice. I don't know, fellas. Everything's looking good. Have to just you know clean off this sand bed a little bit and everything will be all right. The back of the glass is nasty. I think I might have to move that colony of small colony of stylo there just so I can clean back behind that glass. I don't know. Remember to use a toothbrush or something. Yeah, everything's all right. I hope everybody else is doing good with their reefs. I'm really getting ag agitated with my aptasia issue here. Or if that is aptasia, I, I don't know. I don't want to get no more fish. I don't want to use chemicals. I'm half tempted to just break off the corals I have and just take the rock outside and let it die off. I mean, most of the rocks that have the Aptasia, I could easily just remove the coral and accept some loss on, like, maybe some sponge. I mean, that one back there, those Acroporas are just on plugs. They could just be plucked off. That leather, let me just cut them off. They'll survive. The Discosomas, on the other hand, they'll probably die. But, you know, sadly to say that to get rid of that big Aptasia back there, you know, it must be worth it. You know, and this bunch of Aptasia right here, that's on one rock. Oh, that one there, and the two frags on plugs. And this one here, yeah, I got my sexy shrimp, though. I don't know what to do. It's kind of aggravating because you get things like this. I wonder if I wonder if you guys can see this. You see all those guys inside my overflow box. Oh, dude, that ain't one thing with those little bastards. It's another. So. Yeah, hey, look on my overflow box inside too. There's a co there's a few up there on there too. I mean, they haven't really killed no corals or nothing, but they are sure taking real estate over. So, all right, everybody, a nice good look at the tank here. Oh yeah, I forgot. Picked up a Galaxia back there yesterday. It's not looking too happy right now. I might have to move it or something. It's hard to... Yeah. Wow. 
Sorry, people. Yeah, it's not happy at all right now. I'm gonna have to give it some time. Well, you all just have a good one, and uh, till next time.